Hello and welcome to my session. My name is Chris and I'll be talking about how to use traffic together with Fault to deliver your web applications in a secure way. Now you might be already aware of the HashiCorp stack uh, consisting of uh, at least console, Vault and Nomad, which I also use in this demo. Um, but then you deliver a uh, run a job on Nomad and it's a uh, it's a deployment for a web application and for delivering that to the outside world you probably will use a reverse proxy um, most of you have heard of Apache and Nginx or Caddy um, and I would like to demonstrate how traffic works well to do that I'll have a look with you at the way that traffic works um, the cool thing about traffic is it has a auto discovery function and what's even cooler is has a auto discovery function for a lot of platforms including console and uh, nomad the console catalog and nomad so basically what traffic does is it connects to either your console catalog or your nomad cluster and detects your jobs and can automatically route specifics uh, to that service. To demonstrate that, um, I have created a stack of HashiCorp products and um, this is the end goal where we're going, uh, but this will help you to uh, know what servers are in place. When you look at here, we have our console block that consists of three servers, console 01 to 03, which houses the service catalog. We have uh, three fault servers, uh, we have three nomad servers, and we have three Docker clients. Um, on top of that, I've installed four VMs for traffic, uh, traffic 01 to 04, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can use either the normal traffic and then we'll have a look at Traffic Enterprise and how that can help with um, securing your uh, web. So to do that, I have created um, a playbook in Ansible. And by the way, if you want to have um, a link to the repository it's in here chrisvermeer.nl that's my site and there will be links to the specific repositories or articles we'll first have a look at um, the normal traffic the traffic proxy um, I have a playbook that will install traffic and uh, for this demo I will only use the traffic 02 server and basically uh, we have that we'll have that up and running right now so to make things easier I created a shortcut page for all of our um, tooling we'll have a look at them uh, first off, console, which has only the basics, the console servers, the nomad clients, the fault servers, and the nomad servers. Then we have vault, which has uh, the PKI secrets engine enabled. And we don't. We have a nomad instance. We'll have a look at traffic. This is the dashboard for traffic, and what you see here are the entry points. Basically, those are your exposed points of the reverse proxy. We have uh, three different sections: HTTP, TCP, and UDP. 
will be concentrating um, on HTTP and we'll get to these later and below you find the providers and in this case we have a file provider and a console catalog provider so basically in the configuration of traffic you have a section that connects to your console catalog and by default it gets all of the um, exposed services i disabled that and we can then look at uh, specific services to expose the first thing we check are the HTTP routers, which are kind of the rules where you say uh, for a specific rule, connect to this service. As you noticed, we have no console services here yet. But if we look here and we will look at Nomad Run no, first, let's first inspect the file. What I have here is a basic Nomad job spec uh, that runs a specific job, gets a, pulls a container image, and then the most interesting part is in here, which are the tags that are being enabled on the console service for this and here we state that we are enabling traffic and that the entry point is web which corresponds to web and in this case that's port 80 and then we specify a rule that if one connects to the host flip dot in the picture dot photo because in the picture dot photo is the the domain we're working with then it should uh, route it to this console service so if we now run this job and by the way I need some nomad credentials and I can ask Volt for that so we can look here in the UI for this and now we see uh, some things first off we'll look at the console service which is registered through Nomad and you see here are the same tags that are uh, presented in the job spec so this now knows that we have a docker container running on the host docker 1 and on this port if we go to nomad and we'll zoom in on the allocation for this uh, deployment we see the same so we see map to port 80 on this port and we see the console service with the specific tags and now if we look at traffic you might have noticed that the three went to four and the service here from four to five we see hashi flip that in the picture that photo and then route it to the service for from the console catalog provider called HashiFlip. And if we look at the service, we then see the same um, port and server. And this is all totally dynamic. So if I job scale um, hashi flip to three if I scale the the task to three servers we'll have to wait a minute and 
we'll probably see if we refresh this page that it now knows three of these servers. So that is basically uh, how easy it is to load balance or reverse proxy um, services with traffic. Then comes the tricky part, because this now listens on the entry point web, which is point, port 80, non-secure. And what we want to do is use as TLS certificates. And what better way to use TLS certificates in your own stack than to leverage Vault for that? So what we have here is Vault, and we have a PKI secrets engine running, and we have a role specific that we're going to use, and that is the in the picture dot photo role. And basically, this allows us to request certificates for the domain in the picture dot photo. Um, the normal open source traffic can't do this, but with the help of traffic enterprise, this can work. So back at the picture here, um, what you're first going to do is stop and purge the hashi flip job from Nomad. So that is done and we'll remove the, uh, the normal version of traffic. So that is running. And what we're going to do is uh, I created an Ansible uh, role for installing uh, Traffic Enterprise. Of course, you'll be needing a license, which I have running on uh, my workstation in an environment variable that will, will be used. Um, and this is the setup. So we'll have one controller and three ingress proxies and one uh, plugin rest registry. So to do this, we run the following playbook, traffic EE for traffic enterprise edition. And this will now look at the workstation if I have a specific environment variable set for, with the license. It will download the traffic enterprise binary from the internet. And we'll download a tool uh, that's their management tool for traffic enterprise, TEE CTL, or otherwise known as TKettle. And this will install the, the specifics on the service that I discussed. And we'll wait for that to, uh, to happen. In the meantime, we can go back to Nomad and see there's no job in here. And also the HashiFlip service has been removed. Okay, traffic is now installed, traffic enterprise. But if we go back to the uh, dashboard, we'll find that none of this it's um, uh, connecting. This is because we're working in a cluster environment where we have to tell first tell the controller to deploy the configuration to the ingress proxies. For this, we, have, uh, we can use tkettle, but we'll first look at if all of the nodes are ready. tkettle get nodes. Those are already standing by. And if we do a T kettle get static configuration, you'll probably see that there's nothing. I already created a configuration file, but we're going to apply. And that is called traffic EE. And we have two files for that. One is the static and the other is the dynamic. 
these are now applied. And if we now look at the static configuration, we see a whole lot of stuff now here. The entry points, the traffic point, the web entry point, and we have already also now a web secure point. We'll look at the, the UI for this. But the part I wanted to show you was the configuration for console at least. So this will connect to our console endpoint and has some different settings for logging. If we now try again, we'll be greeted by Traffic Enterprise. We have the same sort of dashboard, but it's kind of a different feel to it. Um, if we look at the cluster, we have a controller setup and the three ingress proxies and the plugin registry are ready. If we then look at ingress, we get the same sort of feeling we got with the, with the normal traffic proxy. And basically what we have here is the same entry points with the web secure now. Also, we connect to the console catalog. Um, and then the same things like the routers. So again, if we uh, do a nomad run on the hashi flip, and that is the non-secure, uh, basically this is the same job as before. So we'll test this. We'll have a look. Oh, it's already here. Same thing. Ashy flip dot in the picture dot photo on the web entry point routed to the hashi flip service. And again, this is HTTP one service. No TLS. But the cool thing is, um, Within Traffic Enterprise, we have the uh, ability to connect to Vault and leverage the PKI Secrets Engine. For this, I will have to uh, amend the configuration, and that is this part, where you can specify a certificate resolver. In this case, we call it Vault ITP for in the picture. Specify the specifics for your uh, Vault environment and the role that we saw earlier in the picture dot photo. When we apply this again for the static, and to be sure we'll do the dynamic as well, nothing has happened yet because um, basically the job is here in. Um, in Nomad is still running, it's the same job, non-secure. But if we do a comparison between HashiConf, HashiFlip, sorry, non-secure and HashiFlip secure, then we'll do a diff. I thought I installed that. What we see here uh, on the, the is that the web entry point has been replaced by web secure and another tag has been added to specify the cert resolver and that is fault ITP. If we now do a job run of hashi flip secure. We'll see now that the task has been started, that is downloading the image. And nothing really on this side changes because it's still the same job. It's already been deployed. But now you'll see here a lot of things for TLS. And the fault ITP so, uh, uh, certificate resolver is already up. So basically, what we can now do is go to HTTPS 
uh, hashi flip dot in the picture dot photo, and this will show us our cool flipping HashiCorp logo. But the important thing here is the certificate. And what you see here is the certificate from the website, HashiFlip in the picture that photo. It's been signed by the in the picture intermediate CA. And that's it. We can then verify the uh, serial number with what is actually installed of or enrolled within Vault. Because if we do a Vault list on PKI int search, we'll see a bunch of uh, certificates here. And if we do a Vault read PKI int cert and then use the same serial number we get a certificate and to prove that it is the same certificate uh, we have to amend this command to just output the field of certificate and then we'll pipe the output to open SSL and to show you that it's the same uh, certificate that was posted and used by Vault, which was then transferred to traffic to use as a reverse proxy. So that's basically it. Um, within a few clicks and a few configuration settings, we now have the ability of ability to deploy web applications in a secure way uh, using traffic and in this case traffic enterprise connecting to uh, HashiCorp Vault. I hope you, uh, you learned something and you enjoyed the session. Um, if you have any questions please feel free to uh, reach out to me and again if you want to uh, have a look at how I created the Ansible role for this, uh, this setup there will be links provided on my website, chrisvermeer.nl. So, thank you, and uh, until next time.